I just want to uh, thank the Castanians of this land, the, the Larrakia people, their descendants, past and present, be able to film from this beautiful place or be at this place. So. Well, the most valuable thing to me, of course, is my beautiful family. You know, my four beautiful children, my lovely wife, Charmaine. It's unexplainable in terms, you know, especially having these little, my little grandchildren come into our life, and it's just beautiful, really, in, in terms of the love that comes out from them. <laughs> you know? Well, I wear a lot of hats here. I'm like a business development manager. I become a, a service tech, a helper. Oh, H and officer, so all that in their role. You know, there is pressure a lot of times. It's always a challenge. Um, my everyday life, uh, really, out in the working, is a challenge, but it's a great challenge. The earlier days, I took a lot of things for granted. Everything was just, oh, it should be right, mate. You know, and, and that attitude really changed a lot, especially in working with our company. I go out on the boat fishing with my son. We go through every stage, you know, we make sure you have all the first aid kits and we all have our life check, everything, you double check everything all over. And, and yeah, just making sure everything's all right and safe. Here we see signs around, you know, be croc aware, uh, croc wise. Uh, the crocodiles come right up to the to the pot at times, they'll just sit underneath the pot and they'll sit and approach like a lizard's type and they'll be just under. A lot of people just come down and reach, not thinking that a croc can be there. And a, a croc can snap you in gone too so you go on your hand, pull you in, bite your hand off, take that precaution of grabbing something else and be able to put it up and keep yourself away from the water. As from a young age, a lot of our fathers and you know, when we're walking through looking and looking for bush bush food or you know stuck and stuff like that, to teach you to be aware of what's in the water, what's around, to be aware of how we're stepping, where we're walking. You, you know, you, you're never going sitting down with your back to the water because you can't see what's coming up behind you. There's a lot of things I wish I would have learned from my father. At, and when you're a bit younger, you, you tend to be, uh, yeah, yeah, all right, fair enough, you know, let it go. And when they're gone, you really miss them. And you really see it up to you. I wish I would have learned a little bit more of that sort of stuff. My son, I was say to him, hey, you two little beautiful little children there, and they're my granddaughters, so, you know, take care, think about it. Sometimes, you know, they might have a little bit of a, ah, oh, here we go, don't want to do that. Next minute you see them do it, which is quite funny. And I say, oh, great. And we'll go, I will joke to my wife and say, Charmy, look, look what he's doing, you know, he's taking care of you. And, and you notice, you sit back and you see, oh, okay. Some of that teaching is, uh, it's touching ground. It gives me that satisfaction that I know I'm getting somebody else home right, and there's there's not that should be right attitude, which is great. It's it's that's gone. Going out to work and coming home is plays the biggest part of everything. You you got to get home.